G'day everyone and welcome back to another video. Now today's episode is just a short one of a really good sized flathead I got onto the other day flicking soft plastics into heavy structure. Instead of dragging out one big video of the capture of just one fish, I thought I'd just make it into a short one. Also, last thing, I kept calling the lure I caught the fish on a paddle shad for some reason. The lure is actually called a Berkeley hollow belly. Anyways, you have heard me blabbering on for long enough. I hope you enjoy. Big Berkeley paddle shad in the, I think this is the four inch on this weedless rig. See how she swims. Oh yeah, looks sick. 10 pound braid, uh, 8 pound braid, 10 pound leader. Going out. Holy. Oh, yeah, I'm on. No, fish. Good fish. fish yep. Oh, John, mate. Very big. Can you grab your net? Big flatty. Oh, dude, really solid. I didn't hook set him, though, because I thought I was snagged. No, I'm not going to do it now. I'm just going to have to hope it's in there. Get down. It's fucking big. Get down the bank. 80. Easy. 80, you reckon? I can feel the weight, bro. It's got the slowest head shakes. <sighs> Heart rate. You it's, 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 look at it, look. You're recording? <laughs> Let's go. Hold on, don't get your knickers in a knot. I've got no knickers on. He's gonna go around that log. Yep, get in the fucking water. Get him in, just get him in. I've lost too many fish lately, dude. Get him in! Yes, dude! Oh! Spat lure! Quick, quick, quick! Oh, oh yeah. 70s for sure. That's high 70s. Mate. Oh! Uh, on the paddle shad. On the old paddle shad, My mate. heart's thumping, bro. Wet that measure, mate, and get him on. Only a couple. Very important when dealing with big flathead, wet your measure mat. Oh, that's a solid fish, man. Oh, he knows where the water is. <laughs> oh, dude, Jill. Dude, he's going straight for the water. All right, if this guy could relax, I'll be able to get a proper measurement. Oh, mate. Okay. Yep, 76. 76. On the dot. Not nice. Very, very healthy fish. I think it was like four fifth cast. Get my finger over her tongue. All right. When handling flathead, especially the bigger ones, always support their belly with a hand underneath. Well, that right there is a cracking 76 centimeter flatty. Look how fired up that fish is right now. Spines are up and everything. Wowzers. On that Berkeley paddle shad, first time using that lure. Never touched the water before. Straight into it. Do you need photos? Yeah, get photos on that. Um, I'm just gonna give her a bit of water. All right, while we're getting some more photos, I'm gonna get her in the net for a a little bit more water. Yeah, very important when handling big flathead, just take care of them. If you don't know by now, every flathead over 70 centimeters is proven female. So it's very important to handle these guys with care and responsibility. This is a mud flat that I'm fishing right now. It's about, I'd say a meter and a half deep with lots of sticks. And she would have just been sitting there waiting for a meal. We're fishing the high tide going out to low. Her head would have been facing into the current. My lure traveled right past and she just smacked it. We'll get a couple more photos and get this big girl back. Let's gonna let her sit here for a little bit, get her breath back. She'll let me know when she's ready by doing a big kick. So, we've had her in the water for most of the time, so she should be ready relatively soon. Just get my finger out of her mouth and she might kick it. There we go. Go on, girl. Off you go into the deep. That was beautiful, hey? If some of you know from watching the channel for quite some time. Anyways, as I was saying, 
for the people that have watched the channel for a bit, I have been dropping quite a lot of flathead recently. But I've come out to this location where I know that my mate John's caught a couple of good ones and there's been a couple being caught around and I decided to try out this new rig. This Berkeley, I think it's called a paddle shad with an owner weedless hook. I got these lures and these jig heads sent out to me by my friend Benny from Berkeley Fishing quite a bit of time ago. So I decided to give it a go, put it to the test and well, definitely paid off. I've gone with the weedless because we're fishing a lot of fallen down trees and stuff in the water and I didn't want to be getting snapped off every two seconds like I have been past couple of trips here. Oh, also forgot to say, if you do know where I'm fishing right now and you come here on purpose and you catch a big flathead, please, please, please put them back. I've told enough about information how they're the big breeders and coming to these locations, super important to let them go. So more and more people can experience what it's like to catch a big flathead. And to do that, you have to put them back.